Behind the screaming engines and whirlwind speeds of auto racing stands a core of unique individuals, men who constantly dream of a better racing machine. One such man who dares to dream is Jim Hall. His genius flourishes ideas to reality and generates men to excellence. His success is written in the record. This is the story of Jim Hall in pursuit of victory. Jim Hall, the man behind the sleek and beautiful line of chaparrales. His ingenious designing revolutionized racing. His hybrid race cars are continual champions. He knows that becoming a champion takes a total team effort, each individual working together for just one goal. It is Jim Hall who coordinates the effort of the team. His knowledge and experience guide them through the long, exhausting season, providing the inspiration necessary to any successful campaign. Just make a straight line in the front for that one. Yeah, why don't we just come above that radius that we put in the end of the wing. It's a quarter inch radius, isn't it? Um, yeah, I believe so. We need to include that in the uh, end rib. Is that, is that too close there? Well, you just have to start at the top of the end plate, basically. Yeah, we could do it like that. Yeah. Like that, that. That's not really too wide, is it? No, that looks fine. Jim Hall is no stranger to the winter circle. He has raced, designed, and managed race teams since the early 60s, always providing winners and always thrilling the fans. I was the test driver, the designer, and the racer, and it was a lot of fun to do it that way. Early hints of his talent began to surface when he built his first hot rod. My first car was, uh, was a 30, uh, 29 Ford, uh, which had a 32 Ford body on it. Uh, I built up as a teenager when I was in, in high school in Albuquerque. Jim left Albuquerque to attend the highly acclaimed engineering school of Caltech in Pasadena, California, to learn the art of mechanical engineering. But at the same time, Jim minored in racing. During college, I uh, drove a sports car that my brother owned in a small race in New Mexico, and I really did enjoy it. I, uh, I hadn't done any, any racing like that before, and, and it, uh, it got me excited. I, I was ready to, to go racing. And race he did. His professional racing career began in Maseratis and Ferraris. The racing circuit was being dominated by European car manufacturers. But soon, the name Chaparral would emerge to challenge that dominance. But first, Jim 